teachers and studio owners. Welcome back to the Dance to Learn YouTube channel or hello if you are new. My name is Jessica Strong and I am the creative director and owner here at Dance to Learn. And in today's video, I have a really fun teddy bear picnic brain dance planned for you today. Now, if you've never heard of brain dance, brain dance is a whole brain and body warm up that was created and developed by Dr. Anne Green Gilbert. Now, the brain dance warm up is a whole brain and body warm up comprised of eight patterns of movement that our bodies learn and explore naturally from birth. And those patterns include breath tactile, head, tail, core distal, upper, lower, body side, cross lateral, and vestibular. And as I demonstrate the brain dance warm up today, I will provide a caption for each pattern. So grab your teddy bear and let's go on a picnic. Okay, dance teachers and studio owners, you're gonna wanna make sure that all of your kiddos have a cute little teddy bear that they can take on their teddy bear picnic today. They can use either a teddy bear that they bring from home, or if you give your kiddos a prop kit, be sure to include a cute little teddy bear in their prop kit. So to start our teddy bear picnic brain dance today, we're actually gonna start lying down and we're gonna close our eyes and we're gonna be dreaming about our picnic. So, and this is gonna be our breath. We're gonna explore breathing in through our nose and exhaling out through our mouths. So I will demonstrate this for you. Let's all lay down and close our eyes and we're dreaming about our picnic. So we're gonna breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. And sometimes you can even have your dancers snore. They really like snoring. Uh-oh, that's our alarm. It's time to wake up. So we're gonna stretch oh, one arm up high to the sky. And we're gonna stretch our other arm up high to the sky and we're gonna stretch both arms up high to the sky so the next thing that our teddy bears are gonna do is we're gonna put some clothes on them because they have to wear clothes if they're going outside to a picnic so i always like to ask my kiddos some cueing questions because there's always an answer that i am looking for and sometimes i get the answer sometimes they don't but if i cue them 99% of the time, they give me the answer I'm looking for. So for example, I would ask my kiddos, what would we put on our teddy bear to cover his arms and his body? And they're gonna say a shirt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach up high to the sky and we're gonna put one arm in and our other arm in and we're gonna put it up over our head and down our body and now we're going to grab our toes and we're going to go off on our picnic off we go uh-oh but i think our teddy bear needs to wear some more things so let's come back home the next question i would ask is what should our teddy bear wear on his legs and usually they're going to say pants so we're going to give our teddy bear some pants to wear at the picnic today so we're going to put one pant leg in and another pant leg in and we're gonna grab our toes and off we go to the picnic. Uh-oh, I think we left some things at home. Let's grab our toes and come back home. I'm also gonna ask what is something that our teddy bear wears on his head? And they're all gonna say a hat. So we're gonna put a big hat on and tap our head and grab our toes and off we go. And we say, uh-oh, there's one more thing we need. So grab those toes and come back home. The last thing our teddy bear needs goes on his feet. 
and they're gonna say shoes or socks. So we're gonna put on our shoes and our socks, one foot in and tie it up and our other foot in and tie it up and grab those toes and off we go. Okay, we are looking for the perfect spot to have a picnic. We're gonna go walking through the forest and we pick up our feet like this. And I'd like to sing a little song. They think this is silly, but it goes something like this. We're walking through the woods. We're walking through the woods. Hi ho, Mary -o. We're walking through the woods. And I'll ask them if they're there yet. Sometimes they say yes, sometimes they say no. If they say no, then we run through the woods and it goes like this. We're running through the woods, we're running through the woods. Hi ho, Mario, we're running through the woods. Good, and then we're usually there and it's time to have our picnic. We're gonna set our picnic table and we're gonna do one side at a time. So we're gonna grab one foot, slide it out and open it up real big because that's gonna be one side of our table and we're gonna pad out our tablecloth on that side and then we're going to do the other leg so we're going to grab that leg and open it up nice and wide and we're going to flatten out our tablecloth on that side great job and then we can make sure it's nice and smooth and flat on both sides of our tablecloth today so we're going to get our teddy bears ready for the picnic and I like to ask my kiddos what they think their teddy bear wants to eat at the picnic and we're gonna do a little cross lateral stretch and for this one what I like to do is have them reach both hands up and reach across this way they really get the cross lateral if they're more advanced you can do just one arm as they reach across okay so the first thing that our teddy bear is gonna eat at our picnic today is a salad. So we're gonna reach up high, we're gonna reach across, we're gonna grab a salad and put it on our picnic table. The next thing that our teddy bear is gonna eat today is some macaroni and cheese. So we're gonna reach up high and we're gonna grab some macaroni and cheese and put that on our table. All right, another thing that we're gonna grab for our picnic today is some strawberries. Reach up high, grab some strawberries, and put them on our table. And the last thing that we're gonna grab today is some chips. Why not? We'll grab some chips. And put our chips on our picnic table. Okay, we're also gonna make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So with one hand, we're gonna smooth out some peanut butter, because that's one piece of bread. And with our other hand, we're gonna pat out some jelly, and we're gonna say it's sticky. Sticky, 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 sticky jelly. And then we're gonna make our sandwich. We're gonna close our legs all up. Are you ready? And our legs close up. Good. And we're gonna open up our legs one more time and we're gonna say peanut butter and jelly on the count of three. One, two, three, peanut butter and jelly. And close it up. And one more time, one, two, three, peanut butter and jelly. And close it up. And now our teddy bear is so excited he gets to eat up all of the food at the teddy bear picnic that we put on the table for him today. So we're gonna reach our hands up high and we're gonna eat everything all up. And I like to ask my kiddos, who still has food left? And they say, me, 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 Miss Jessica. And we do it again. They can even take their teddy bears with them. And we eat everything all up. And then I say, who ate all of your food at the picnic today? I did, I did, I did. So we close up our knees and we give one leg a big, huge hug and kiss our knee. And our other leg a big, huge hug and kiss our knee. And then we give both legs a big, huge hug and we kiss both knees. And 
And then for their vestibular activities, we usually stand up, and that's when we practice our plies and tendus and twirls. Thank you for joining me in today's video and exploring the teddy bear picnic brain dance warm up with me today. If you enjoyed today's video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Also, I would love to hear from you in the comments all about your classes and how they enjoyed today's brain dance warm up. I also would love to hear any theme ideas for future brain dance warm ups. Let me know what you would like to see. I'm also starting something new on the channel where I will feature a random subscriber comment each week. And if your comment is featured, I will spin a prize wheel. Now prizes will be random, but can include anything from 10% off coupons from our online store, free downloads from our website, a prop giveaway, or even an Amazon gift card. So be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments on this or any of my previous videos here on the Dance to Learn YouTube channel. Now, if you are new here today, I invite you to click that red subscribe button down below, as well as the notification bell so that you never miss an upcoming episode. My name is Jessica Strong, and again, thank you for joining me today, and I hope you continue to dance, learn, and grow. Bye!